I'm going to teach you how to make any network switch wireless. Joe Tech Tips, he's the man with the plan, guiding us through the digital land. Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today, I'm going to teach you how to make a hardwired printer wireless. Make our network switch wireless. Make anything that has an Ethernet port on it wireless with this setup. I'm sure you've seen these TP-Link repeaters. You can plug from this to this, and now this becomes wireless because of this. And allow you to get internet and network connectivity in odd locations. So what's really unique about this is that you can connect anything to this. There's a little port on the side, a little RJ45 port on the side. It's that simple. Set, it, set this up using the interface. Plug it into this, and now you have a wireless switch. It's that simple. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. And let's see what IP address we have received. Now, I'm using a wireless um, adapter on this PC for internet. However, my hardwire connection is connected to this device. So I'm going directly to the ethernet to this. So when I type in IP config, we get we're looking for the Ethernet adapter, which is this. And the default gateway is this. So, let's see. So this is a brand new device, so we're going to set up a password for this. And it's really simple. You just That's all you have to do. Because you, for you to configure this device, it must be connected Ethernet. So you can access the web interface on the device. So if you're using a laptop and you don't have an Ethernet connection, you can get a USB to Ethernet adapter, which they do exist. You know, you can get them. I'll have all the stuff that I'm showing you here. I'll have a link in the description below to get it. And it's really easy to do once you get the hang of it. So we're just accessing the interface now to set this up. And we're going to connect it to my wireless network. And let's just move forward. So let's uh, set up a password here. I'm going to log in. And as you can see, this is the network we're going to use. I have Worf happens to be, I'm a big Star Trek Next Generation fan. So Worf is my access point. So we're going to kick click on this one. This one's 2.4. So 2.4 gigahertz has a better penetration, slower speed, but better penetration for RF. 5 gigahertz has faster speed, but less penetration. So depending on where you want to put this, if you're putting it far away on your network, you want connectivity, like say you want your Xbox to have some sort of an Ethernet connection and you want to do wirelessly, maybe you might, you might want to do it 2.4. So, so we put in the code. What we're going to do, we might as well do both, just in case. So it can falter back and forth on either one. So we have a 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz. We're going to confirm it. We could have skipped it. So this is going to be, it's going to be like a Wi-Fi extender. And, we'll, and it's, we're going to call it that, you know, Wharf EXT. So if, if there's other devices, but there's no need to do that because I have three access points in my home. I have an upstairs one. I have, they're all ubiquity. But for this purpose, we're using this to make anything wireless, and that's the reason why we're doing this setup, to prove the theory out. So once the system is applied, and we're going to test the, all this out. I'm going to show you how this works. <laughs> so now it's applying settings to the device. And we're not going to use this as a Wi-Fi extender. We're going to specifically use it for a wireless connection. So if, say for argument's sake, you have a printer and it doesn't have wireless, and it's a big monster printer, but you need it to be on the network. So you can set, you can buy one of these devices, set it up, take the Ethernet cable, plug it into this, 
and then plug us into the wall and now you have a wireless printer that was never wireless before and it only has an ethernet port on it so now you can make a wireless a, a hardwired printer wireless or you can make a switch network switch wireless especially this little this little linksys five porter it'll be a four port a four port switch wireless as soon as i plug it in this will be a wireless switch that's connected to you know to the to, to the network and you have all access to this okay looks like we're done and now it's it's uh let's see it should be <coughs> let's see finish so now my wireless connection has disappeared. If you look down below on the right hand side of this, it's gone. And now we are on this device's wireless and we'll see how fast it actually goes. So let's open up another window. Let's go to speed, speedtest.net. Let's hit go. Let's see how fast, it's, it's as fast as my wireless connectivity. So let's see how fast it is. That's still respectful. But again, it's for getting things that you can't access Ethernet wise, and but you have good wireless coverage. This is a great alternative to doing that. And I believe that this is a great option to have. So you can make any device wireless. So that's what I just did. I made now I have this is this is a access point. Now now I can plug this into the switch and then plug the switch into my PC and now I have hardwired wirelessly from a network switch. And that's it. That's all you, that's all your that's all it is. So you, we're, we're all finished. We're done. So now this device is configured and I can make any device hardwired into a wireless device. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up, and if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care, and we'll see you next time. In the world of lights and bits, where tech can make a strip, there's a guru with a knack for every digital tip. Show text the name, he's the one you'll seek. From gadgets to software, he's the one you'll meet. So if your tech's in a tangle, don't you fear. Show text here, let his advice draw near. With his help, you'll surely find in this digital world. Tech Tips, he's the man with the plan Guiding us through the digital land With his wisdom and his wit Every tech woe is really fix it